shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> but there's an empty part of me that wants a hot fruit toast corn syrup soda, a big ass factory farm steak, and to slap hippie girls on the ass and treat them like crap instead of putting up with their neurotic drama and dreadful taste of music. Hippie drama is the worst drama there can be. And this dude, he was spiritual as hell. Do what he said to me? Do what he said, Sherry? Do what he said? He said, you have to buy the right books. Listen to the right music. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
restricted access. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> I don't recognize him. It'll be gray and blue when I'm done. Stop it right now. All right, straight hand. We're going to make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! <laughs>
Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little geeked up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a p this test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, up, a little down, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. <sighs> okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family I left me. But they won't even take my phone calls. But, but I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. There's a part of me, Doc, and I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your 
sexual problems, Michael. Hey, I ain't been perfect, but I've been okay. Just skin joints, you know, nothing too bad. Okay, Michael. Well, in the circumstances, I think that's some kind of progress. Yeah, I know I ain't been good, Doc, but I've been under a lot of stress. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Man, I need to get some health food in this damn house. If it ain't you, someone else is gonna have to rub oil into my white bits. Chicks love it. Anyway, all I do is Molly now. It's, it's virtually a health food. Let's go to the phones. Marshall, from Puerto del Sol. Hey, Lazarus, I take real issue with what you said about marching bands. They're brilliant. They're really erotic. <laughs> marching bands? With your matching Napoleonic costumes? Turning rock classics and pop hits into garbage? Oh, look, I'm a toy soldier blowing into a tuba. Do you think a stadium full of drunks cares about your stupid song? We want to see bitches shooting t-shirts. Oh, look at me. I'm an adult in a marching band. Oh, boy. You need help, dude. At least I'm not pretending to be someone half my age. Good point, Marshall. He got you there, Laz. Speaking of lost souls who need a bunch of help, I think we have the perfect guest for you. Laszlo, introduce him. Coming up on Chattersphere with Laszlo and Michelle. Oh, Michelle and Laszlo. That's what I said. It's not. Well, whatever. Let me speak. Being saddled with a woman to appeal to more liberal listeners. I am liberal. Seriously. I've got a TV show. Which makes me liberal. So shush, woman. Coming up next, what have we got? Oh, this again. God, I gotta take this producer out and piss in my head. How original. A cult leader in Los Santos. I, I mean, I'm a cult owner of alternative thought. Coming up next on Chattersphere with Michelle oh, no. and Laszlo. Alternative therapy. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Ugh. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. 
We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Free... Way. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. What are the best you in the whole galaxy of potential yous that are there? Life's a competition. It's a competition with yourself. Well, that's a competition you can win. And I will show you how. Dude, I have eight ways of not understanding this. Is this like a, a yeah. 12 step? Program?